hopefully everybody had a great weekend uh welcome to mcleod technology and my name is ram and today we got something i believe today jay's fixing up on a printer today i believe i think so jay what uh what's wrong with this printer oh it has a fatal error so this printer has a fatal error and he is so he is currently fixing this one and um has he anything happened to it yet print head status and the damper status usually for error 1839 it's usually the print head it's either the print head it's either the cable it's either the cord or the motherboard uh, I am gonna check for the oh I checked the data cable it's actually not the printhead I'm gonna check the printhead next no there it is mm -hmm. uh, Jay right now is gonna be cleaning the line and he's gonna be explaining how the process goes all right so what are you doing now Jay yeah I'm trying to clean the lines and in order for you to do that you need to access the lines connected to the damper assembly so and right it's just two of them right yes two of them i already did one i already cleaned one line so i'm gonna do the other this one all you need to do is be able to access it so what i did i opened up removed the covers and i removed the front cover and the top metal cover so Right now, all I need to do is just remove the screws here. And I usually put uh, like a cloth or a paper towel or whatever that could uh, absorb the ink. Because once you remove this, it will actually spill ink. Especially if the cartridges are connected to the ink bay. So I'm just removing this. And then I also have this container that I cut the top part of it. So it's used to catch the, the ink. The ink, yeah. All you gotta do is like remove this, put that, uh, let it catch, let the container catch it. And. let it naturally flow you know and that that'll flush the lines it'll remove extra debris extra dried ink so the ring is an important part yeah. it helps it from having any leaks when it's connected to yeah. this so it helps secure it basically so don't lose it or drop it or drop it George <laughs> we can use the natural I know it says for fatal error one eight thirty nine. It should the uh, what you're suspecting would be the print head, data ca the cables, the cords, the motherboard. Those are the problem for 1839. But you can actually go ahead and clean the line because there were certain, like there were printers that I just cleaned the line in preparation for like the damper and it actually fixed there's a possibility for you to actually fix the that er error so i'm doing that right now
Yeah, this will take a little bit of time. <laughs> okay, so Jay actually found the problem. Uh, the problem was a motherboard. Yes. Uh, there was a leak on the motherboard that yep. was causing the issue. Yep. So, like, as I mentioned earlier, for Fatal fatal Error 1839, it's either the print head, the cables, the cords, or the motherboard. And I went and checked earlier the power supply area, and the fuse is intact because that's usually the cost. Like, if there's a 1A39, the, the fuse is like broke, is broken, right? Mm -hmm. So I just checked and verified, and it's still intact. So I went, uh, I, I, like I, I crossed out the motherboard, right? So mm -hmm. I went and checked the print head. I cleaned the print head and put it back in. I cleaned the line as well, because sometimes that can cause the, that fatal error as well. And then I replaced the data cables and I checked the cords, right? So after that, it's still giving me a fatal error. So I figured it could be, because sometimes even if the fuse is still intact, it could be a faulty motherboard. So I went ahead and check just to verify the motherboard and I saw the cost. This, this motherboard may be damaged because of the there's a leakage somewhere on the now yeah. i have to check the capping station as well yeah yeah so there's there's so also a leakage. Also, there's actually a leak as well here mm -hmm. as you can see right here that is that one is not normal like you see the gears itself it has like ink on them which means there's like a le leakage somewhere in here mm -hmm. And with that, the remedy for that is just like replace the capping station. All right. Well, okay. let's switch the motherboard. Mm -hmm. Where's the new motherboard? Oh, it's actually. Hey, there's George over there. I think he wants to be in the video. <laughs> George says he's camera shy, but he's not. <laughs> he he really isn't. He's an uh, attention seeker, huh, George? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Replacing the motherboard is pretty straightforward. You just have to like plug and unplug and it's color coded. It's like coded. You, you can't miss them. The only the only thing that's confusing is the ribbons, data cables eight and nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. There they should be inverted. That's why we actually suggest or recommend to like put numbers on them. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right? Oh, it's actually six and seven. Six and seven. Yeah, these are. This should be. And where's the numbers at? So I, I I haven't put them because I oh, I okay. kind of already know. Right. Yeah, but <laughs> but it's it's much better for you to not get confused if you put numbers on them. Mm, let's see. That's a. Yeah. So I'm just gonna replace this. This, the motherboard sits on the, that metal, uh, where the screws go in there. Yeah. yeah, but before I actually start the printer, after I like, uh, replace the motherboard, I'm gonna change the capping station. Okay. Yeah. So we'll just leave this here for now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You just connect everything. Yeah, it's connected. Yeah, it's color coded and stuff. You can also like put like a. I mean, it's up to you how like like we all have like our own tricks and techniques, right? And how to like a. Uh, yeah. You can't do it. This is not gonna fit. <laughs> it's not gonna fit other slots. Like you, you actually will know right away. It's like two vacuums, mm -hmm. actually. Uh, we usually take out the yellow one because it's too strong and we're not able to like control it. There's no like a control lever for it. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it causes issues on the roll feed if like both vacuums are turned on. So mm -hmm. the remedy for that, that we figured out is to like, just like, like unplug the yellow one. 
Let's put one of them here. Yeah. And it doesn't like cause any, like it actually fixes the, the, the problem. The issue. <laughs> yeah, the issue. Because sometimes if it's too strong, especially for the rolls, because they're like a third party customized rolls. Um, sometimes it's, it doesn't like really move mm -hmm. with uh, the vacuum, the default vacuum of the printer. Mm. I'm not gonna screw all of them yet because I'm Everyone, we finished replacing the motherboard, uh, making a part two on replacing the Catholic station. Um, so stay tuned to that. It'll be tomorrow. And um, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Say bye, guys. Bye, guys. Sorry, they're too busy right now. Yeah.